Hello buddy. Welcome back to the first episode of How to Can. My name is Dexter and I'm gonna be your teacher. I always wanted to say that. But uh, let's go right into the guys. So right here you see oh there you go. Right here you see I made up a little test area here and this video is not gonna be too long because uh, I'm just gonna go over the basic concept and uh, what you see here is not an exact copy but close to by the guy named Lee Nacher and you probably know the Lee Nacher from the Lee Nacher canon and for you guys that didn't know it the Lee Nacher canon is, is named after a person because the guy that uh, released the first canon that actually made canons what it is today is called Lee Nacher and uh, that is Basically his design is and what is going around is that it uses basic concepts to work together to stack more sand and so on and so on But the guy's name was Lee Notcher But uh, why don't we just go right into this so let's pick up some uh, parts of this cannon here and then let's go over them The first one here I'm gonna go over here is the quick pulse and why we use the quick pulse as well as why it is uh, better than not a quick pulse Right here, you see, uh, you see a nut quick pulse. All right, and now you are gonna go over the same again, but this time we're gonna use a quick pulse. You see, there's a big difference there. There's a big difference from a quick pulse to uh, to not a quick pulse. So that's just a little basic concept I want to show you And you can even go further with this And you can say that you want to use the, the concept here um, With the quick pulls And then uh, put out the sand in the cobweb and then throw it out And that will give you this effect And it will have a lot of sand in one block And that is kind of the concept he used here Because this guy, this fellow here could stack 20 sand and this is kind of the, the, the exact uh, concept he's using in this cannon here. But uh, not enough of that. Let's uh, pick up another concept. And this concept is something all cannons use by now. All cannons, no matter how big, no matter how small, people use the concepts you see here. First, let's go over the booster before we go into other complicated, a little bit complicated stuff. But uh, the booster is what kind of boosts the sand. So as you see here, it boosts the TNT, sorry. It boosts the TNT up to the block where things are going. Like if the sand are going or if the TNT are going, it kind of pushes it up to exactly one block away so it can go further. And we're gonna do this little here. So this is a non booster cannon. And it will travel right here. And that is not far. But what if you add a booster to it? What will happen if your booster pushes the sand out? Make text and that would go way way far further because that was not the slap right here there you go and that would boost it over to the black here so that is kind of that is kind of how it is here and you already saw it could go at that range here let's try to move this without a booster here uh if your tnt is far away of course because it won't even fire as you see it won't even fire and why I wanted fire? Why 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 would it not go ahead and they just go ham? And that is simply because the further away your TNT is, the harder it's going to be to move. So no matter what, that means that if you moved this one right here, it will go even less. And if you move it even more, it will go less, less, and less and less. And that is kind of why you use the booster. You push up all the power up to the block where you're needing it and then this TNT is going to just fly and that is kind of the concept here and let's go let's pick one more here why um, why there is some repeater see a repeater right here and you see a little bit of stuff here and I'm, I'm pretty sure you already know this but I'm quickly gonna go over with everything so you guys have an idea of why I'm using this but uh, let's um, let's see here this here is torch this here is repeaters and I'm gonna go to this red line in a second so right now you see this goes exact exact same besides the torch have two full repeaters and two techs and that is that is kind of why uh, that is kind of how, how it works um, 
and people don't really use torch for, uh, torch cannons anymore. It's still a good concept, it's still a good cannon, but people use repeaters, and I'm not gonna go into why, it's, it's, you simply just use repeaters, so, so don't use torches. But uh, a whetstone can travel 15 blocks, it doesn't matter if it's up, Oh, it doesn't matter if it's up or if it's to the side, it doesn't really matter how you do it or if it is like going like this, it doesn't really matter, the Arknall, it, it doesn't really matter, it goes 15 blocks no matter what. Um, let's go over to, let's go over to, to the cannon here again, because now we, we kind of set it off the, the TNT here. Um, no, so we did the sand compressor or whatever you can call it here. We went over the booster, we went over the power, and now I think it's time we go over to the guider. The guider is what controls your TNT and it controls all your sand as well. The sand that is right here, if you have the guider in, a full block of course, it is gonna land right here on this block. This right here is in this case gonna be your hammer down and I'm gonna go over to hammer down in a bit. But hammer down goes up here. What that allows, it kind of splits the sand and the TNT, so it is, so you can actually push the sand down with the TNT, and I'm gonna go over that now. So, let's go over to my little setup here. Right now, I have one TNT, uh, and I have two sand in it. So let's just, um, let's just break this, and then press the button. Why not? There's two sand in here, so let's see how it goes. Okay, it breaks. Because I did something wrong. Oh, there you go. Now we just need to wait a little bit here. Because I kind of want to show you this, but I... Oh, we could... There you go. That should be better. Just wait a bit. Wait, 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 wait. So let's go over here. So, it, I know it lacked a little bit here, but as you see, it stacked one sand. And uh, that is one TNT stacked one sand. So what will happen if you add another repeater? Oh, sorry, add TNT. So let's go, what will happen if you do that? Let's push this in. And now we have to wait a little bit again. I'm sorry about that. But now we added two. There you go. And normally, uh, one sand is one TNT. You know, this, that's the only thing you have to think about with small cannons is that one sand is one TNT. But normally, you will always want a little bit more TNT than you want sand. But there is two sand in this cobweb now. So what will happen if we shoot two TNT? It will stack two sand. And why it broke there, I don't really know, but it will stack two sand. And that is kind of the, the, the concept here, is that it will stack two sand. And the hammer down is what fires the TNT down. So whenever you shoot, you want the sand to go down, it shoots it down so it stacks more sand, alright? And of course, right now it can stack twice because, the, because it moves the sand into different blocks, so it will just fall like if you, if you did this, and it will still stack two sand. But, um, that's, that's why it does this, and the hammer down is used to push down sand. And that is again one more concept, a concept we can find on the Linarcha cannon. The Linarcha cannon have a big here, and this means that this fellow here can this have 20 dispensers, and that means they can stack around 17, 18 sand, or 16 sand. Um, and that that is the hammer down, that is the concept of the hammer down. And uh, I think that is just about it, I don't really have anything else for this first first concept video here because we're not really going to go into building a cannon just yet because i would just want to show you the concept and concept all cannon uses i can def like i can go into the it doesn't matter so about that it doesn't matter what cannon i i find here in the schematic uh, it still has a booster as well as this one has a booster it still has a sand compressor but a different sand compressor of course Things have been evolved seen since Linaccio released his cannon, so I'm gonna have a different sand compressor for a lot more sand. And uh, down here we have the uh, booster, I already showed you, right? The booster is right there, the sand compressor, alright. And then we of course have the power here, which has already 
being like it's not really a big concept but it's still a concept that you can kind of wire it up here and, and stuff like that and then this is why all the whetstone goes in where it kind of extends the, the whetstone and all that but uh, we're not going over that and uh, this cannon again has a quick pull just as well as a lot of cannons this is a piston a stick a piston right here that allows uh, quick pulses for the sand compressor and all cannons use the same concept as well it has a hammer down a bigger one where it kind of have a booster as well as the power where it boosts all this um, all the hammer down and, and things together into a block and it also has a guider this one is a left shoot so it doesn't have a a, a full block but it is still a guider it is still a guider and you see that the sand will go in under the slab here as well as the slab bus but we're not gonna go into slab bus just yet the the sand is going in here the hammer down goes a half block up more and that means that whenever if you were straight shooting it will shoot down the sand just as the not sure cannon we did here and you saw up in the corner um, and it doesn't really matter what cannon it is it doesn't really matter all use the same concept and that is why i think it's important for you guys to know the concepts of uh, building cannons because that is kind of the main thing i'm here to try to teach you and uh, i hope that you guys guys learned a little bit about it and the next episode i trust you is going to be about building a cannon but right now this is this is what i give you right now i have made a lot more a lot more videos but i i still working on it to kind of try to make you uh, learn it the best way i always feel i'm a good teacher i don't want to be a teacher but i feel like i'm a really good teacher with this concerns with today some complicated stuff but this is kind of this is kind of it for this this time here, and uh, this is just the the concept of the first Lee Nacha cannon that Lee Nacha released, and that kind of that's kind of where the cannoning took speed and and made everything possible uh, as we have it today. But uh, I think that's just about it. Remember to like my video and always comment down below if you have any issues, especially at this time where I kind of try to teach you something. I really wanna. We really want to answer you guys comments if you have any issues at all and remember to like my videos as well and subscribe my name is dexter and uh, i'm out